Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and this is a Team Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip video, I'm going to show you how to use the channel assignment function, which allows you to assign any receiver channel to any control stick or switch on the Spectrum DX9, as well as show you the channel input configuration function, which allows you to change the control function of the transmitter to another switch or lever. The use of the channel assignment function is a convenient method of setting a given function on the model to whichever servo plug position on the receiver that you wish. For example, if you wanted to have your flaps activate at the same time as your retractable landing gear coming down, you would assign auxiliary 1 channel to the landing gear channel, traditionally known as channel 5. This relieves you of also trying to use a Y harness. On the other hand, the channel input configuration function allows you to change the input device on the transmitter for a given channel. In this function, you could change the throttle function from the left stick to the rear slider switch without touching the servo connections on the receiver. Let's see how to perform these changes and how they can work for you. Okay, here we are in the operational screen right now and we're going to go into the functional menu screen. So depress the scroll switch once. We're in the function list. Let's go all the way down, almost all the way down, to system setup. There's system setup there. Depress the scroll switch once. We want to make sure that RF is disabled, so we're going to answer yes. And here we are in the system setup. We're going to go right on down to channel assignment. There we are in channel assignment. Depress the scroll switch once. And here is the receiver port assignments as they are stock from the box. What we want to do is set up a twin rudder setup. Let's say you have an F-15 Eagle and you have twin rudders on there but don't have the Y harness to connect them up with. No need to worry about that. We're going to assign auxiliary channel 1 to the rudder. So what we need to do is scroll on over to the auxiliary 1 channel. There it is. It lit up. We're going to depress the scroll switch once to be able to adjust it and we're going to find rudder. There it is. Depress the scroll switch once. That locks it on in. From here let's go check out our servo simulator and see if that worked for us. Okay, so for our exercise, we are using auxiliary channel 1 to join in with the rudder without using a Y harness. So we have twin rudder set up. Right now, here's the rudder as, as it stands right now. You notice just one servo is moving. So now we're going to go through the sequence and get that twin rudder going. In the function list, we're going to go all the way down to system setup. Going to turn off the RF. Uh, you know, we're now in the system setup and we're going to move on down to channel assignment. We're going to take the receiver port assignment, go to channel auxiliary 1, depress on that, change it to rudder, change like that, and then go ahead and back on out. Now let's see what happens with the rudder. What we should have, yep we do, both servos moving in unison as the rudder. Okay, so now that we've found out that that has worked for us, we're going to make another change to the um, assignments. We're going to go to the next key down here at the bottom. To press on that, and here we have the channel input configuration. Here's where we can change the switches and or sticks for a given function on the transmitter. We're going to change the gear down at the bottom there from the switch that it's on right now, which is the upper left top rear on the DX9. We don't want it back there. Maybe we want it up front. So let's come from off the list where the cursor is now and let's go on down to the gear. If you notice, some of the channels say NA, not available. Those are the channels that you cannot make a reconfiguration on. But the gear channel, we can. We want to assign it to switch D is in Delta. You can do that one of two ways. You can either scroll on over to it and hit it from there or you can just activate the switch on the transmitter and there you see it changed when I hit the switch. So now it's automatically on switch D as in Delta. Let's go see in our servo simulator, see if that worked for us. All right, so for our next assignment, we are going to switch the function of the transmitter from switch A on the landing gear to another switch. In this case, we're going to go to switch D. So here we go off camera. We're going into the function list go all the way down to the system setup, turn off the RF. We're in the system setup now and go on down to channel assignment. We're in the our receiver port assignments. We're going to go to the next on that menu. 
and we have the channel input configuration. So now we're going to go down to channel 5, gear A is a, is a assignment right now. We're going to switch that to D is in delta, so we're going to move that switch right now. It's moved, so now we're going to bug on out. And here we go, there he goes, switch D right there. All right, it's a three position switch, so the servo moves in two different directions. That's all there is to it, guys. Now, please note that if you've mixed any channels into a channel that's being reassigned using these functions, the mixing setup you created will not move with the reassignment. You will have to make the reassignment first and then determine if you need to mix the channels again or not. The use of the channel assignment function will not only give you greater versatility, but also makes things more economical and less complicated by not having to use Y harnesses. Meanwhile, the channel input configuration function allows the pilot to custom set the transmitter input devices for his model to meet his particular needs without having to rewire the receiver. Both functions make life easier for you. I hope this tech tip has allowed you to expand your knowledge and skills with setting up your next model, as well as enhanced your enjoyment of the hobby. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and you just got a Team Tech tip. Thanks for watching.